make us up a cable. I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you've got to do is you've got to get your solder pot going. This is what I use for a solder pot. A four-way tire tool. I use the socket on it. I've got it filled with solder from a, a use before. I use a propane torch. There you go. And I just get the flame hitting that there. As you can see, I've got some solder in it. Okay, so I have my conduit here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to length. I'm going to make up a front brake cable for a bicycle. You can make it any length you want. You buy the raw conduit and you buy the the steel cable to go into it. You need to match the diameter of the cable to the uh, diameter of your uh, conduit. Check out the link below. I'll show you where you get it. You need a uh, the proper tool to cut it with. You need the correct flux for it. I'm using a superior number 75 flux. We're going to solder on one of these brass ends to it you need some of the ferrules for the end of the cable and I'm going to leave one end of the cable blank I'm going to cut my conduit right here Regular wire cutters don't work so good because what they will do is they will crimp the inside here and you won't be able to get your, your cable to go through. There I go, I have my cable through. I'm going to need, oh, about that much for one end and I need about this much here so I'm going to trim it here. And what I need to do is just basically get both ends of the cable into the flux and let it sit for about a minute. And you can see it's fairly aggressive. If I, if I zoomed in close enough, it's, it's, uh, it's really cleaning the, uh, the cable there. You need it good and clean for, that, uh, for the solder to go into it. And I'm just using a uh, silver solder. Uh, you can get it in the plumbing section at your hardware store. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to push this through the small end. And what I need to do is push it through most of the way. Then I need to fray the end of the cable. Okay. What I'm going to do is fray the end of the cable. And what that's going to allow the solder to do is to build a large ball of solder in there that's going to stay in here. It's going to open up and uh, that way you're going to get a good solid physical way of, of making sure that the cable stays into it. Okay, you don't need to fray it too much. That is plenty there and just pull it in a little bit. I will go ahead and clean the brass part here pretty good. Let it sit for about a good 30 seconds. Okay, my solder is melted.
and what you want to do is push your all I'm doing is sealing up the end of this cable here so it doesn't fray and let it sit in there for a good 20-30 seconds that way you can be sure that your cable is up to temperature and it accepts the solder good and I've got a real good coating there okay like I said I've got the the cable frayed inside there I can go ahead and turn off the flame put it in there for a good 20 30 seconds and this is rather hot I can feel it's pretty hot on my fingers right now I'm actually having to pull my fingers back it's so hot All right, and we got it plenty hot. I want to get off any excess that I can. While it's still hot, you really you don't want to move it around too much or knock the solder out of the hole there. I've got that plugged up real good. There, I don't have a lot of excess solder on the cable that would cause any hang-ups inside of the uh, the conduit. And we're good to go. I'm going to pour a little water on it. Make it safe to handle. All right. Okay, now I need to put my ferrule on the end of it here. That goes there. It can slide off, but hold on. I'm going to pair, use a pair of... Uh, linesman pliers and I just want to crimp it I'm going to give it about three good crimps I don't want to crimp it too hard so it will collapse the conduit that is not coming off now we're going to push our cable through there Sometimes you need to give it a twist. Okay, what? Let's do it this way here. Since this end here is probably a little out of alignment, there you go, I got it pushed through. Here. There you go, it's through. And if I needed to put another end on it, all I would need to do, I, I, I shouldn't have frayed that, but this is going to be left, left out. I'm not going to put an end on it here, but had I have wanted to put a, uh, another cable end on it, I, I would then go ahead and, and put it on there. Just measure up the distances you need. Check the link down below. I can show you where you can buy all of your cable supplies that you need to do it, including the flux. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Thanks for watching.